Pseudoscript here again. Pseudoscript. And uh, I'd like to share with you another project that I've been working on um, to try to tackle a problem that's uh, been a perennial problem in kind of our democracies. Um, and that is uh, that politicians don't always uh, do what they say they're going to do. Um, what they promise on the campaign trail is often different than what actually gets enacted um, once they're in office. So, uh, and, and it's a little tough to know exactly what it is that they pr uh, promised. Um, you know, they say a lot of things in speeches, and there's a lot of things that the media says. So, um, it's kind of a little vague and difficult for the average voter to know, okay, what's, what's actually being promised, and did they actually uh, do what they said they were going to do? Uh, I think we can use Politea to try to hold them a little bit more accountable. And uh, I made a little prototype that uh, can show kind of how we might do that. So, um, in, in this prototype, the, the public, uh, anyone really, can uh, suggest ideas for policies, and that's just the you know, normal Politea proposals. Um, and then people running for office, uh, candidates, they can group those different policy ideas that they like, or the ones that they want to include as part of their platform. They can group them into uh, what I call slates, or electoral slates. Uh, and these slates kind of are uh, you know, uh, containers of multiple different types of proposals. Uh, these slates, they can update it through the course of the campaign. You know, they can change their mind and um, up until a point where an overseeing authority, like an election commission, uh, says, okay, we've got to finalize uh, these platforms so that you know, in a few weeks, uh, when you voters vote, they know exactly what they're voting on. Uh, and once they're finalized uh, by that authority, they, they can't be changed anymore. And uh, this means that voters know exactly what they're voting on, uh, the promises that they're voting on. It also means that um, before the next election, um, we can go and see, or well, do they actually do what they uh, promised to do? Uh, and we can try to make uh, more informed decisions as voters uh, based on that. So one of the things I did uh, was to um, add a kind of new type uh, layer on top of the regular proposals that uh, Politea has. Um, I call this a slate. And like I say, it's just a container that kind of can hold multiple different individual component uh, proposals. Um, and you can see here on the bottom, there are three kind of proposals that are um, you know, normal, vetted uh, Politea proposals. That means that they have been uh, you know, proposed by somebody and then vetted by that overseeing authority. And so they're they're in the public pool of vetted um, uh, policy ideas. And each candidate can create their own slate, and their slate holds a number of pointers to these different ideas. Uh, one of the neat things about this design is that uh, you can actually see that in some cases, uh, candidates agree on uh, the things that they want to do. You know, they, they, in this case, both of them want to create more jobs. And you can see where they, where they agree, and you can see pretty quickly where, where they disagree as well. So this code snippet shows a little bit of the implementation on how this works. Um, I've removed uh, some error handling and other boilerplate, uh, but this flow is essentially kind of the same thing that's in the prototype. Um, so when we get a request from somebody saying, hey, I'm a candidate, and I want to create a slate of policy proposals, uh, and these are the different policy proposals, uh, what we get is a few things. We get a list of tokens that correspond to those policy proposals. Um, and we also get a signature from them and a public key. And that lets us uh, associate a public key with this uh, slate that we're going to be creating. Um, that's important because we don't want anyone to be able to come in and change the promises that are being made. We only want uh, the candidate to be able to do this. So in future requests that they may have to change uh, their, their platform, uh, they have to again, provide a signature that proves that they do hold the private key that corresponds to the public key on record. So, uh, the, we iterate through, uh, when we get that list of tokens, that's, uh, okay, these are the, you know, three or four or five different uh, policies that I want to be part of my platform. We go through each of those. We make sure that uh, it does correspond to a vetted record, so it is in the vetted public uh, repo. And then, we create a new file that uh, with the file name and the file payload, both as uh, the, the, that, that proposal's um, censorship token. 
Um, and what this does, lets us do is easily look up later on, okay, what are the component records, uh, component proposals that are part of this platform, this electoral slate. And it also, because it's part of the payload of the files, uh, they are cryptographically secure. Um, and when we Merkleize them, uh, we know that, okay, this is exactly what is in this slate and um, it makes it pretty difficult possible to uh, say that there's things part by part of it that are not actually part of it or to remove something later on. So at the end we just store the uh, some metadata that says okay this is the public key of the user who um, of the candidate uh, that is uh, creating this and we just store this entire slate as a normal old proposal uh, in the Politea backend, um, just with these special files that are acting as pointers to other to other records. So that might be a bit confusing, but let me see if I can quickly show you how it works in practice. So here we have uh, I've created I've gone and created a few proposals or policy ideas already. You see one at the top there for regulations. Here's one for more jobs, and here's one for college. Um, and I've gone ahead and acted as the Electoral Commission as well and said, okay, yeah, these are all valid ideas. Um, so I've gone ahead and published them, put them in the vetted, in the vetted repo. So as a candidate, let's say, um, I'm identifying myself by this ID file that I have. Let's say I want to make a new slate. And in my slate, I want to include this one and uh, this, one about, this one about jobs. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new slate. And there it is, this slate has its own token, and that means that anyone can go ahead and look up that slate and see what's part of it. Uh, there it is, there's the owner, the public key of the owner uh, who actually owns the slate, and then here's each of the promises that are part of it. Uh, there's the one about jobs, and there's the one about regulations. Um, the, like I said, the slate can also be updated um, by, that, by that candidate, uh, and they may say, you know what, I don't know if I can actually create that number of jobs that I promised. Uh, so I'm going to update this slate and I'm going to delete that promise. So then go ahead and do that. And now if we go look at it, you can see that, okay, that, that promise has been removed. Um, and what we have here are actually just fewer regulations. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it back in. Uh, let's say they change their mind again. Um, and one other thing I can point out too is that, uh, as I said earlier, the user that uh, submits a changes, well, they need to actually hold the private key. And here we have some other candidate trying to update a slate that they don't own, and we see that that doesn't work. They 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 get an error. Um, uh, as we get closer to the election, uh, one thing that the electoral commission can do is actually say, okay, we're going to finalize the slates. You can't actually change them anymore. And so here I'm going to take the slate token, and I'm acting as the election uh, commission here. And I'm just going to use Politera's built-in way to publish this slate. There it is. It's public now. And so I can still go see it. I can still go see the slate. And there it is with those proposals. I added the I added the one about jobs back in, so there it is. Um, and you can see that even if I am acting um, as the candidate, even if I have a key, I can't go and make any more changes to it. I can't um, I can't delete something that I tried earlier. There you go. It's published. It is in the public record, and it is beyond my ability to to go uh, touch. Um, so that's it. You guys can go check it out uh, if you're interested at pseudoscript slash politea and the campaign promises branch. Thanks.